Welcome to Searching in Fearless Tarot. Today, we are going to just do a message for my Leos, my Geminis, and my Aquariuses. Um, those are the first three that came up. Let's see what messages we get today. Okay. What's being activated for my Leo, Gemini, Aquarius Collective? What's being activated for my Leo, Gemini, Aquarius Collective? Fourth house, okay. So this talks about our ancestry, our roots, where we come from, as we did in the past. Okay, that's confirmation. What we did in the past. What makes us feel secure? Okay. So in the past, your life could have felt very stagnant. It could have felt like there was a lot of delays going on, like you didn't know what you were doing. You felt like you were working really hard. This could have possibly been within your family or within a marriage, um, but you, you just didn't, you felt a lack of passion and you decided to move into something you were passionate about. That doesn't necessarily mean that you left the relationship. It just means that you found your passion while you were there and you studied and you worked and you worked really hard. But with this eight of swords, it felt like the more knowledge you had, the more captured you felt. And by captured, I mean, um, by finding this passion of yours, you changed the storyline of your life entirely. You changed the storyline of your life entirely and it made you step aside and process what was going on. And this, with the four of wands, it doesn't, this doesn't have to be a relationship. This could have been family dynamics as well. You could have just felt like you were maybe trapped in a role within your family or people viewed you in a certain way and you wanted to rise above that. And by following your passions, you did. But it changed the perspective of the people around you and what you were putting your energy into. It was making you feel like you were just living in living in stagnancy but also um what's the word i'm looking for um living on your laurels and when i say living on your laurels i just mean like you weren't doing anything to grow you were only making safe choices and you were living your life out of fear and when i say you were living your life out of fear i just mean that we have two choices in life, whether we want to live by fear or love. And it felt feels like you realized you were living in fear and you didn't understand how much that fear of being seen in a different light changed you. Um, maybe suppressing your creativity, suppressing your voice, suppressing your input on certain things. And it was making you feel like you were looking over at all these things that you didn't have you were trying to make something fit that didn't fit it wasn't a true essence of yourself or an extension of who you were so you decided to go off you decided to go off onto your own path and it was scary um maybe you didn't have clarity while you were on this path maybe you were just kind of what I'm seeing is somebody who doesn't really know what they're doing. They're just going off of feelings and how they can move forward. It's like there's a lot of surrender here and a lot of um, needing to let life come to you. Needing to learn how to receive things instead of just giving, giving, giving all the time. That's what's helping you make it go into the future, but you're also feeling incredibly unbalanced because there isn't a stable plan in place or everything is really up in the air for you. It's almost like you're living your life via spirit and not through the physical world. But what spirit is showing me right now is that you had to fix your inner world in order for your outer world to represent who you truly were. And so that could have meant people, places, and things just dropping off by the wayside. What you are manifesting, you, okay, this is confirmation. Look at this, magician, the lovers, and strength. I don't know about anybody else who reads tarot, but I know for me particularly, the lovers indicates a very strong, long-lasting bond, a soulmate bond, um, 
not necessarily romantic either. This could be friendship too, but notice how there's a feminine and a masculine there. So it's almost like these people feel like they're a part of your core family. These are relationships that are going to be long lasting. It may be very frustrating because that energy is blocked off for you right now, but you're in the midst of manifesting it. You're in the middle of it. And maybe a lot of you are struggling to put yourselves out there. You're struggling to trust new people, you know? Um, maybe you, maybe some of you cut everyone out entirely and you only have a few people in your life that you can trust. And it's like, after everything that's happened, how can I trust anybody else? How can I, how can I go further? You are moving into calmer waters though. You are moving into calmer waters mentally. With the three of pentacles, this is like, if you're feeling delayed in the work process or you're feeling delayed in um, teaming up with people or feeling like you have, you have people that are on your side, you have people that are backing you. This was a necessary transition. You needed to see the truth of these relationships, whatever secrets came out, whatever ended up happening or however these people are treating you. Cause some, some of you I'm seeing relationships where you're dealing with the people because you have to deal with them like family. Um, but you're not necessarily attracted or feel like you fit in with them anymore. You know what I mean? Like you feel like you're oddly disconnected from them when maybe you felt entangled with them your entire life. So this is a really new, different, kind of scary feeling for you. You are healing though, and you are going through judgment right now. So everything in this card is indicating rest. If you're pushing yourself to succeed and you're finding roadblocks in front of you one after the next, that's because you're in a period of reflection. There's a need to not make the choices that you made of the past. And I know that that can be really difficult and incredibly hard because the past is what feels comfortable, but this is justice. This means you're meant for something bigger. You're not meant to be stuck in codependent dynamics forever. You're not meant to be everybody's savior. You're not meant to be everybody's leader. You're meant to become your own leader. And once you become your own leader, that's when you lead others. I Honestly, what I'm hearing in my head is it's an issue of not wanting to be the student. Maybe a lot of you have been teachers previously. Um, and maybe the student energy or maybe not knowing it all is really difficult for you. And it's okay. There's no judgment here. I ain't, I ain't judging you for that. Um, but with the fool, there's a lot of anxiety. But your intuition is telling you, you are on the right steps. You are making the right way forward. It may feel uncomfortable and it may feel like you don't know what the hell is coming around the bend. But that's because you want to be surprised sometimes in life. And this is a good kind of surprise. Let's get advice. Spirit, what's the advice? Only those who have the highest good of all involved in. What's the advice, Spirit? Okay. <clears throat> maybe some of you are going through an eighth house perfection year or maybe perfection year or some of you are just over going over all of the mm, perceived failures that have happened in your relationships. Maybe some secrets were shown. Maybe things were brought to light that you didn't necessarily want brought in the light. Maybe you're thinking about lost opportunities that could have been great for you, but spirit, think about it this way, okay? Your guides are spinning the wheel of the past in front of you so that you can make better decisions in the future. It's not to show you what a fuck up you are and it's not to just make you feel like you're going to make these mistakes over and over and over again. You're heavily focused on this energy because you're processing. Not a lot of people talk about the beauty of processing and how necessary it is to get that emotional, somatic, traumatic memory out of our physical being. And that's what you're doing right now. So those blockades are there to protect you. 
because if you started to produce, I'm, I'm talking a Leo Aquarius, um, a Leo Aquarius Gemini here. So if you're in the process of creating content or creating something where a mass amount of people is going to see it, spirit wants you to be in the right energy when you do it. And that's why you're being blocked right now is because you're still processing that information. But the wheel of fortune is coming. The wheel of fortune is turning in your favor. And I think if you're coming in as the high priestess, you know this, you know this. You're learning how to bring, how to accept things, how to receive things. And I know you guys are probably going, ugh, but it's true. We need to learn how to give and receive as awkward as it can be. You're unsuppressing yourself and you're not letting your emotions get the best of you. This is, this is how cutting people out sometimes with the five of swords, sometimes this card can get a bad rap because I feel like this is winning at all costs. This is you understanding that in order to get where you need to go, you need to emotionally detach yourself and think logically on some of these things. You need to transmute all of that emotional energy with the eight, King of Cups reversed, Ace of Swords reversed and the Magician. To me, this talks about not exactly knowing where you're going, but moving forward anyways, and winning, winning in order to get there. Yes, you feel stifled and stuck right now, but you are on your way. See, I couldn't make this up. The devil reversed, okay? This talk, devil is Capricorn energy, but reversed, it's talking about unsuppression. It's talking about getting yourself out of a jam, getting yourself out of a obsession or something that was heavily suppressing you in your life. With the eight of pentacles, this is the student. <laughs> Don't punch me. This is the student. This is you learning and doing things properly. Even though you feel like you're not doing it properly, maybe because you perfected something else and you're onto something new. Don't worry though. This energy is leading you to wish fulfillment with the nine of cups. This energy is leading you to something big, and I know you can feel it in your heart of hearts. You would not be on this mission. You would not be doing all these painful, painful transitions if you weren't coming into something that was incredible. And I know it's hard that some of the people that you love the most or you used to resonate with, you don't resonate with anymore. But that isn't forever, and it doesn't mean it has to be forever. It's just for now. It's for your highest good. To thine own self be true. Okay, let's do guidance cards for each sign, and then I'm out of here. I know it's kind of a short video today, guys. I apologize, but I was kind of hit with a lot of work when I didn't expect it, which is a good thing, so... Leo Aquarius Gemini. Leo Aquarius Gemini. Leo Aquarius Gemini. Leo, I'm sorry, defenseless, writing past wrongs, uprooting. Look at that beautiful card. I don't think I've ever seen that in my polls yet. Okay, we're living in divisive times. When we're hurt and triggered, we tend to see things as a personal attack rather than an opportunity for healing. If we're, if we're to find true peace and unity, we need, to, we need to drop our defenses and see things outside of right and wrong. As souls, we intrinsically remember unity and yearn for it here on earth. Perhaps this is why it feels so painful when we experience the opposite, but it's crucial to remember that we can't simply bypass reality and pretend that unity, love, and forgiveness are here. This is one of the great, greatest challenges for starseeds. To bring about unity, we must first acknowledge the ways in which we both, we and the world have been div divisive, personally, ancestrally, and collectively. The shadows, hate, wounds, separation, severing, wrongs, and sadness. 
you may be called to explore how you, your ancestors, or your society have consciously or unconsciously inflicted pain on others, to find a way to drop the armor around your heart and see things as they truly are for all people, to say I'm sorry with an open heart and mean it, to be part of the healing rather than the perpetuation of inherited conflict or oppression. There isn't, this isn't about blame. It's about unwinding the pattern that got us here. You may be called to devote your time to causes you believe in or do healing work on your ancestral line. All right. Aquarius, wait, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Look at that beautiful card. Kind of reminds me of uh, OA on Netflix if you guys watch that. Okay. In our fast, loud, reactive, com comparative world where an instant response is so often expected and at times even a currency, it can feel almost impossible to take a breath, let alone give ourselves the space to rest, wait, and reset. We're so often in overdrive expecting instantaneous results over and over again. And when guidance doesn't come at these extreme speeds, it can feel as though some, something's gone wrong. But often, not receiving guidance is guidance in itself. When you ask for guidance and don't receive it, it can often mean wait. It's not time yet. The details are being woven. Our challenge is to keep trusting when on the surface it appears that nothing is happening. To remember that no matter how long or bitter the winter, spring does always come. To remember that you need to solve you don't need to solve all of the world's problems in a single day <laughs> and that perhaps they'll be better solved with some perspective and a good night's sleep. This card is your permission to slip, to slow down, switch off and rest. You're being reminded to have patience and to trust the mystery of life, to trust that things are being woven on your behalf. It may not be happening to the timeline you'd like, but if you, if you gather up the patience, it will be orchestrated better than you can ever imagine. And Gemini, child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Look at that. Okay, there's a mysterious force. This is for Gemini. There's a mysterious force that governs all of life, an intelligence that tells flowers when to bloom and the tides and seasons when to come and go. That intelligence is within you too. It was there before you drew your first breath and it will be there well beyond your last. It's the part of you that's informed every cell what to do when you were in your mother's womb. It's harder to resist this force than it is to surrender to it. Because Earth is a planet of polarity and free will, it's easy to forget that this intelligence exists within us. So often we become disconnected from this pulse of life and fall into the pattern of believing that we're separate or feeling that we need to go it alone. We can feel isolated at, and as if we need to figure things out for ourselves to rely on our own strength. You're being called to remember the intelligence that's within each and every one of yourselves, to remember that you're a precious child of a loving, gentle universe, that you have access to all of the intelligence, wisdom, strength, flow, and qualities there ever were, are, or will be, and to remember that if flowers know exactly when and how to bloom, then you do too. Okay, my loves, until next time, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you later. Bye.